Don't know if you guys saw that message come up, but it says, stop carefully, engine oil pressure is too low. Uh, I feel like I destroyed this car trying to do a simple oil change. Uh-oh. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new here, my name is Eamon. These are all my cars. I have a G80 M3, I have a GR Super, and as I showed you guys, I also have the X5 over there, which is just a 40i, but it is an M Sport. I actually really like that thing. If you guys are wondering, why do you have so many cars? Well, obviously one, I make YouTube videos, so I need more cars for content, but also I just love cars. Like I just, I'm obsessed with cars. It's my biggest passion by far. I do like other things like working out, as you probably can't tell, but cars is probably my biggest passion other than like family. Obviously family, always comes first but cars is a big thing for me so yeah i have a few cars nothing crazy i mean it's a supra it's an m3 and it's an X5. The X5 really is for my wife. Well, it's for my wife and it's also the family car. But if you guys have been watching the channel for a little while, if you guys are OGs, you'll know that I had an X3 before this, an X3 M40i. It was one of my favorite cars I think I've ever owned. We gotta get some stuff done on the X5, which actually is the predecessor to the X3. Once we kinda, you know, didn't have the X3 anymore, we chose to get the X5 because it's a cool third row family SUV. Now, is it as much fun to drive as that X3? absolutely not it is still a nice suv but this is the 40i it is not the m50i and that was a very conscious decision guys the x40i over here has a b58 which the x3 m40 did but it's just tuned differently it's also a much bigger suv so it doesn't feel as fast as punchy so why didn't i get the m50i well one obvious reasons it costs a lot more like significantly more also like i said this one has a third row which is actually currently not up right now and you can only get the third row with the 40i anyways with that said let's try to get this thing inside the driveway so super is out x5 is in it's been a while since i had these two cars next to each other it's been the m3 and the supra side by side for a while so it's a bit of a his and hers. So in terms of what we gotta do today, guys, nothing too crazy. We gotta do an oil change and we gotta change the cabin air filters. It should be pretty similar to every other B58 out there. I wouldn't imagine that's gonna be any different, but the only thing I'm curious about is the oil filter location. So the oil filter should be back there. I think it's actually right in there, like, over here, maybe? Where is it? Oh, I found it. You guys can't see that, but hold on. Maybe if we remove this. Oops. Okay, now I can see it. It's right over here, which that's kind of an annoying spot. Like, how am I supposed to reach that? Let's go underneath the car and see if we can find, you guys are gonna come with me, for the journey of finding where this um, drain plug is. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Oh, I found it. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it's missing the the cover. So that's at least easier access, I guess. Anyways, I'm gonna bring the oil pan, or the, the catch can, whatever you wanna call it. This little thingy. We're gonna toss it inside, and we'll get a ratchet to open this thing up. Side note, I put one of these on the Supra. This is basically a magnetic drain plug. So essentially, when the drain plug is obviously in the oil pan, the little magnet on it will catch little metal, magnetic metal shreds and stuff like that. Is it the most crucial thing? Probably not, it's probably useless, but it was like two bucks, so I figured why not. Again, I put it on the Supra, and I'm gonna put it on the X5 because I'm doing the oil change. Next time I do the oil change on the M3, I'll probably do the same. But that car is actually covered by the dealership for the next three years. But they also only do it like every 10,000 miles, which is pretty crazy to me. I'm actually gonna see if I can do this with one hand while also holding the camera. So forgive me guys, let's just make sure this is on Lefty Lucy. Let's also make sure this is lined up. I don't want a massive oil stain. All right, this is a lot harder with one hand. <laughs> Hold on. Sorry, that was a bad angle guys, but can you see that? So now, should be loose. Honestly, we can just do the rest with our hand. And hopefully I don't miss. Oh, nope, we need that. Oh, I almost, oh, I pretty much missed, no. Note to self, guys, do not do an oil change one-handed while holding a camera. Now I'm gonna have a massive, massive oil stain on my driveway. That sucks. Well, anyway, since we already screwed that up, by the way, I literally took out gloves and completely forgot to wear them. This is what happens when you try to film what you're doing. You kinda just forget stuff. I'm sometimes more focused on holding the camera and getting a good camera angle, which I probably don't even do in the end anyways. And what I'm actually working on almost gets forgotten. But 
Let's try not to do that again. I'm gonna place you guys right there. We're gonna see if we can grab this oil filter while I'm on my literal tippy toes. And as a loud UPS truck drives by. All right. New filter goes in. Boom, now we can pop this back inside the car. So the filter is back in. I'm pretty sure it's snug enough. Now what we have to do, since the oil finished draining, is take this mess of a oil thing out. And I know what you guys are gonna say, you're an absolute noob, you don't know what you're doing. I mean, that's probably true, but also, I promise this is not my first oil change. I can see the comments already. Oh, take it to a shop. You don't know what you're doing. Take it to a reputable shop. Shut up. <laughs> this is really bad though. Oh my goodness. The new drain plug is in. It is sealed from down below over there. So now I'm gonna set you guys down. I'm going to pop open the oil cap, put in our funnel. And now of course, we have to reach in all the way back here and fill it up with oil. All right, X5 is filled with oil. Now what we have to do is not lock it. That's not what I meant to do. Now all we have to do is take it off the ramps. That way we can get an accurate measure of the oil that's currently inside the car. And uh, yeah, after that, all we have to do is just reset the oil life or the service life. You guys know what I mean. Don't know if you guys saw that message come up, but it says, stop carefully, engine oil pressure is too low. Uh, it's not leaking oil from underneath, so don't know what's going on with that. This has become the most messy and frustrating oil change I've ever done. I'm gonna turn the car back on again to see to see if that message comes up again. It's not popping up right now, but I do have a check engine light. What is going on? I feel like I destroyed this car trying to do a simple oil change. Let's see if we can do, um, it's not saying oil too low right now, by the way, but it does have a check engine light. Yeah, now it's coming up. Engine oil pressure too low. Uh-oh. This was supposed to be a simple oil change, guys. What the heck is going on? <laughs> Let's pop open the hood. It's not leaking by the filter. Not sure how much you guys can see, but yeah, it seems fine. Let's see if we have any leaks from underneath. There's the, that's by the way, when I messed up originally, that's not new, but underneath, it's not leaking any oil. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. That's just so weird. There's no oil leaking. Like, I don't know why it's doing that. I did lock the car and walk away just to see if the ECO will reset, but let's try starting it up again. Bismillah. Yeah, it just says door open, but you guys can see we have a check engine light. So, everything says it's okay. Again, we have that check engine light, and last time, yep, there it is. Engine oil pressure too low. Hmm. All right, guys, it's uh, been some time. I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. A simple oil change turned into a mess, which I don't even care about at that point. Like, it's don't care about the mess at all. But there's something going on with the X5. I want to show you guys a couple things, though, because I've been investigating. So it's been, literally been like an hour, maybe even two. So I've been trying to see what could be causing this issue. The car is not leaking oil. I checked the oil filter housing, and I even check underneath. Now, it could be other things. Could be the oil viscosity. I use OW20, which is what BMW recommends. It's what I've used on all my B58s. So no one says anything. It says right over there on the hood, OW20. I've used that for all my B58s. I even used it on my Supra just recently, and that car gave me no issues. So what else could it be? It could be the oil filter itself. I did use a new filter, but it could be faulty. So what I did was I took out that new filter and I have it wrapped in over here. I want to show you guys something. I don't know if this is just me overthinking it, me and just my cluelessness, or I might be onto something here. Now, let me clarify this, guys. I am no mechanic. I just like cars. I do not know enough about them. But what I will say, though, is this filter right over here, it looks like the oil pump is pumping. That was a very loud truck. It looks like the oil pump is pumping the oil here, but it's not going on the other side. So this is just my simplistic way of thinking about it. And again, I could be totally wrong here, so do not quote me, but your oil pump pumps the oil from the engine through the filter back into the engine. So that way, obviously it takes out, you know, whatever it needs to take out, hence the filter part. Well, it looks like oil is going on one side and it's not going out through the other. So don't know 
if that's true maybe that's just normal that's just what happens maybe because the car hasn't really driven although the engine was running not sure if that's the reason so what i did next was take the old filter that was previously in the engine and throw that back on now i'm hoping because obviously i wasn't having this issue before maybe if anything it'll start to work again well i did that and i just turned on the car that's where i started filming again because i was like oh maybe i can just knock out this issue and it's just no big deal but now it's turning into a big deal so now we're in diagnostics mode okay we're gonna go I think I have my OBD adapter connected over there. We're gonna go into Beamer Link, which I already have open. We're gonna connect, 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 come on. I like, when I get anxious like this, guys, I get um, really, really impatient. I just wanna move as fast as possible. Okay, error memory. So digital motor electronics. So you'll see here, oil pressure, blah, blah, blah. You guys can read it, there it is. That's the code that I'm getting. What could be causing this issue? Because I cleared these codes already and it came back up. Even after I changed the filter, I cleared the codes, came back up. As much as I love cars, man, I hate them at the same time. It's so finicky. It's like you just go down these rabbit holes of what's going on and ugh, it's just stressful. You guys can probably feel the stress on me right now because I don't think I told you guys, but this is now my last car. And you guys, if you watch my channel, you'll know the Supra, the temp tag expired. And I can't even leave it parked on the street over there, by the way, because they will give me a ticket. The M3, it's not down per se, but check this out. I got a flat. I have no idea how that happened. Like, I, I don't know. I got to take the wheel off and see if there's like a screw in there or something. I really hope it's something I can just patch up because literally, guys, I'm now down to no cars. From three to none. Crazy, man. All right, guys, another update as it's getting dark over here. I think... I think we might be good. I was like, okay, maybe it just needs a little more time. So I reset the codes one more time. I turned on the car and the warning lights didn't come back on. Now, the first time I reset it and they came back on, it came back on within like 10 seconds. It's been running now for a couple minutes. So check this out. Right now, we are good. There's nothing on the warnings. That, that warning right there is just the door is open. No warnings. So we're gonna do this. Let's go to car. We're gonna go again, guys, the car's been running for a little bit. We're gonna go to vehicle status. We're gonna go, right now we're all green. We're all okay. Let's go to engine oil level. And we're gonna actually start engine oil measurement. And we're gonna see what this comes back with because I'm curious, like, is it that it didn't have enough oil? What I think really happened, I really think it was this filter. I don't know, it's really weird. I, just, I don't know why. It could be this, but this could also just be totally normal. If any of you guys are actual mechanics or engineers or anything like that, is it maybe this oil filter? I don't know, regardless, I'm not gonna put this back inside the car. I'm gonna get a new one and I'll change that ASAP for now. That's gonna be garbage. But let me show you guys. So we are good on oil level. And again, that warning hasn't come back on yet. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna breathe it. We're gonna take this thing for a little drive. Honestly, when those warnings first came on, I didn't take it as seriously as I probably should have because, well, if I'm being honest with you guys, like I thought everything was fine, I wasn't stressing it, but it's a good thing I didn't let the car run or I didn't drive the car. I did turn it off like really quickly after. And then as I looked into it more and more, you know, I started to get a little more nervous. But right now, guys, let me just say, it seems like we're good except for this oil stain right over here. But otherwise, it seems like we're good there's no warnings or anything like that. I mean, I think if we would have had a warning at this point, it would have shown up. So honestly, I think we're good. I'm probably just gonna wrap it up here. This video is supposed to be about something totally, totally different. But honestly, this one just got so derailed because of all this. I was hoping just to keep on powering through, but um, you know, that just didn't happen. So if you guys enjoy this content, if you guys wanna stress along with me, or if you guys just want to watch me make mistakes, please drop this video a like. It helps me out big time. Hit that subscribe button. I promise I'm not usually this messy, literally and figuratively. But yeah, with that said, this video is pretty much done. I'll catch you guys in the next one.